Welcome to Know Your Mobile, I'm Basil and this is a Lumia 920, this is a Lumia 820 and you're watching a video comparison. Kicking things off with the Lumia 920 and the design is much much beefier than that of the 820. Well actually not much much, just slightly beefier. It's a heavy phone. Um, the unibody chassis feels extremely rich in the hand, it's not hollow, it's really solid. Corners a little bit of intrusive in the palm of your hand digging in a little bit in contrast to the soft corners on the Lumia 820. Having said that, both devices feel very, very rich. The 920, as we said, is unibody, the 820 isn't with a removable back cover. On the bottom of both devices, micro USB port to the right hand side, volume rocker, camera button, and power button. No buttons to the uh, left and up top, 3.5mm headphone jack, and on the 920, you've got a micro SIM tray. All that can be found underneath the back cover on the Lumia 820, which we can take off and you've got the battery. We can remove the battery to reveal the micro SIM uh, card slot and in addition the micro SD card slot, meaning this device is expandable. So while you don't get anywhere near as much internal memory, you do have the option to add more. Now moving on to the interface, and while we wait for the new Lumia 820 to pair up, we can just tell you pretty much off the bat they're identical. Windows Phone 8's on board both, coupled with Nokia's key apps. These include uh, Nokia Drive, Nokia Maps, Nokia Music, and some cool photo apps like Cinemagraph and there's Creative Studio. This uh, adds really nice uh, value for money to the Nokia Lumia devices and we really, really recommend you try these out um, before buying whatever Windows phone you do buy. If you do like these and they're um, really important to you, then Nokia devices are hands down the Windows Phone 8s to go for. Um, in saying that, Windows Phone 8 provides a very, very clean experience as well across all their devices. It's very, very unified. So this looks identical virtually, bar Nokia's own uh, apps to the HTC 8X and 8S, for example, which are also two extremely, extremely competent devices. You can have live tiles on the front screen. You can also have a host of applications, all your applications, on the right-hand screen. And you can resize the tiles as you see fit based on your preference. So you can have three sizes, small, medium and large. Now moving on to the screens of the devices and the right hand side device Lumia 820 packs a WVGA uh, 4.3 resolution screen whereas uh, a 720p 4.5 resolution screen sits on the Lumia 920. This is really nice, much sharper LCD display. Blacks aren't as deep, although they are very deep thanks to Nokia's clear black technology, which is all about polarizing there, but we won't go into that. On the Lumia 820, blacks are super deep with its AMOLED display, however the low resolution means text won't look quite as crisp and clear. Windows Phone is quite forgiving thanks to its very, very blocky interface for low resolution screens and it certainly doesn't detract too much from the 820, but it's something to bear in mind if you do a lot of ebook reading, for example, on the go. So now that we've covered the user interface, it's down to the cameras. And while they're similar in terms of specs with eight megapixels on board both devices, Carl Zeiss Optics, to f2.2 aperture on the Lumia 820, f2 aperture on the Lumia 920, the Lumia 920 has image stabilization, which makes for much, much better low light shooting. We can show you what this means. We've done this demonstration before, but if we grab the Lumia 820, shake our hand, we can actually see once we press the button, our handshake actually is very, very compensated for. We can let go, you see all the shake and we carry on shaking, but half press the button and the image is very, very stabilized. This is perfect for nighttime shooting, allowing you to potentially, um, making the camera think, sorry, that you've got a steadier hand than you actually do. It's also perfect for video with no motion uh, shake in the um, eight full HD video recorded on the device. The Lumia 820 is a perfectly respectable camera and actually the Lumia 920 is much, much better. Slightly soft both devices, um, which is a bit of a shame and it's something we saw on the 8X as well. So it might be across all Windows phone devices, we're not sure. Um, not as sharp as we would have hoped it to be and definitely nowhere near that of the PureView 808, the Symbian phone. However, the 920 is definitely the low light shooting king. As far as performance goes, 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon in, Snapdragon in both, it's an S4, absolutely works a treat. No slowdown to speak of. Windows phones are really, really slick UI. Um, Windows Phone 7 ran well, Windows Phone 7.5 ran well, Windows Phone 8 on more cores works even better. Really, really nice. One we can say is the Lumia 920 refresh rate just looks a little bit better than that of the 820, um, but that's probably down to what Nokia have done with regards to the refresh rate of the screen. 
So that's performance and battery life. The Lumia 920 will tend to last a full day um, with, with ease, as long as you don't overuse a screen camera, keep an eye on your brightness, and yeah, full day, perfectly realistic out of it. And we can safely say the same for the 820. It's a 1650 milliamp battery, and we think a 2000 milliamp or thereabouts battery in the 920. Um, and yeah, we found the 820 again, just watch it and it will last the day. Um, definitely not gonna die on you before the day is out. So that's been a quick comparison, well not so quick, but in-depth comparison of the Lumia 920 and 820. We love both devices. Um, we'd say the key strength of the 920 is its camera. That goes without saying. The optical image stabilization makes it a must for anyone who relies heavily on nighttime shooting. In contrast to 820, the key element is its design. Funnily enough, despite not being a unibody, the interchangeable back covers, which we haven't spoken about, give it different functionality, but also a huge amount of personality. Um, definitely check out all the back covers. The yellow one is matted, for example. The red one's high gloss. We didn't love the red one. We love the yellow one. It took us no time to swap them out. So yeah, that's been a quick comparison. Hope you enjoyed. Feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.